Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we proceeded overland in the Mako. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. In a moment. Manual restart required. And we proceeded overland in the Mako to the Peak 15 labs. Passenger trams are offline. Arrived here and then came under attack from insectoid creatures, which we know are the Rachni, but they haven't identi been identified as such in the story as yet. And we got the base's mainframe online, and as it continues to remind us, the reactor is offline and the pass and the trams are also offline. So we need to get those back up and running, starting with the reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. And I'm going to go ahead and just get straight on to it just to get the User computer alert. to shut Landline up. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. All right, let's see what we've got here. Some uh, crates to poke through. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual. Well, hello. I think not. And they're still kicking around, all right? That was a whole lot of enemies. Looks like there's still a couple kicking around over... ...over here. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Alright, we got a locked storage locker. But we should be able to decrypt that, no problem. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I made sure to work with that juggernaut. Alright, there's still something else kicking around here. But, not really sure where it is. It's over there somewhere. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. We are aware. Alright, get it lifted. And then just proceed to... Make it go away, apparently. Alright, well, let's go ahead and fix the fuel lines and get the reactor back on. Alright, so that should take care of one problem. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I don't need to talk to Mira. All right, we ride the elevator back.
User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. All right. Oh, that's been dealt with. Okay, that was an Omni tool. What, do I need to consult Mira again? Oh, no, 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 no. We need to actually head up here to deal with this. Right, 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 right. Actually, let me just check something. I think I got a new Omni tool. Yes, indeed, a logic arrest tool. Six, which is a significant improvement over her basic one. I have her using shotgun. So we're good there. All right. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. All right, and I'm expecting a lot of rachni here, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, whole bunch. Okay. Well, that was User close. Alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Hopefully there aren't any more. All right, landlines have been repaired. Good. Maybe that'll at least get the get Mira to shut up for a bit. And now we should be able to take tram to the labs. Uh, top off the health. I don't know if I'm going to get attacked again. Yeah, and their attacks go straight through the shields. So your shields and barriers do not matter when fighting the Rachni. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Uh, loose contaminants, you say? We are locked in. Enemy contact. Let's repair the plasma purge so I don't have to deal with these with these things. Come on. I might just have to use Omni Gel. There we go. Control group losing the. 
there and I can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the final struck. Get out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving, that killing himself would be easier. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm just going to leave you there. So here's the tram. Let's take this to uh, Rift Station. And see what's going on there. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Alright, so, where to? Well, I don't think we can get through there. Nope, oh, that's emergency exit only. Hot labs. Alright, yeah, that elevator's been locked down. This one's still operating. Well, hello there. Stand down. Captain Ventralis. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Uh, can they run a train? Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. What are they? We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Well, I'm going to need to talk to her. Venezia, is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Alright. Let's ask about the hot labs. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. So, what's this facility like? Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Alright, so these things came from the lab? 
Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. That doesn't really answer the question. All right, so what about the aliens? What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I guess I'll have to do just that. All right, we'll ask about Benezia. You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. All right, and how are your people holding up? How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. We made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. All right, well, I think we're done here. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Starting to run short on Minigel. Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. Uh... Kind of a futile attack. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts. And they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. All right. Well, let's uh, see what's going on here. Actually, let me just check one thing. Nope, still getting the lighting bug. I think at some point here it stops, but I can't remember exactly where. Alright, well here we are. Let's go ahead and start um, investigating. Alestia Lalis? What? Um... Who are you? Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Araeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Inconsiderate much? No need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? Uh, what do you do here? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. Uh, what do you do? What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. Okay. Uh, do you know where Benezia is? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Okay. Well... Wow. That's all for now. That's it then for you. I will return to my meditations. All right, Potosi. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I'm here for the matriarch. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised. One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Okay, you're running a store? This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? All right, what do you got? Let's have a look. Regretfully, 
Most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. What I'm looking for is, do you have any licenses, which you do not? You have some light armor. It's not that much... You know, it's different, not better than what I'm using. Alright, well, that's probably nothing really there that I need. Ah, there we go, some meta gel. Dr. Palin. What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? Alright, let's see what you know. Uh, let's see, what's the situation here? How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. Okay. So, who are you exactly? What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. Accident? There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. Okay. What about Benezia? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Well, we know where she is. Apparently, he doesn't know anything else. Uh, what about the hot labs? What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Where is he? Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. Okay. And what is this lab? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. Alright. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Let's see, that's the medical bay. Apparently it was some sort of accident. I guess we're not going that way. Quarantine and barracks. What is through here? A weapon locker. I will take that. And another storage locker. I will take that as well. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. All right. Well, let's uh, head to the medical bay and let's see what they've got in there. Maybe they'll have some meta gel I can appropriate. Mirror terminal? I know you'd have a cure by now. Alright, well let's talk to Dr. Cohen. What, what what do you want? Uh what's wrong with these people? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you want to, don't you? But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. Uh... So... Yes, I know her. Makes sense. She seems to regulate everything else up here. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. 
These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. Okay, what's going on? I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. You want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Forest B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another. Like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. And you don't have a cure for it? You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is it dangerous in there? Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Uh, let's see. I'll see what I can do. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Alright, so what do we do? What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Alright. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. So I guess we go back to Captain Ventralis to see if we can convince him to let us in the, into the lab to synthesize the antidote. And we also need to talk to Han Olar. Once we've managed to find him. And see if we can find a way into the hot labs. Captain Vendralis. Something you need? I need to help Dr. Cohen. I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. I'll have to report this. If we survive, your employers will want a report from me. I wonder how much insurance they have on those scientists. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. I don't like being trapped. Well, I'll say if that's what it takes. That's the only way you'll let us in? I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. All right. I've got work to do. You and me both. Okay, so we need to head to the quarantine area. This way, to quarantine and barracks. And it's an elevator ride. Ah, and there's Hanolar. Aid station. Metagel, thank you. All right, well, let's talk to the guard. You're not part of the crew. I'm here to make the cure. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Well, we're headed in.
Take that stuff. Alright, so... What do the notes say? You've isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract a toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work. Too little or too much will spoil, spoil the result. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's try that. Your mission ends here, Shepard. I thought she seemed odd. Kill her. She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. Shoot her! You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free! Now it gets fun! Or two biotics here. So that is going to go well for you. All clear. What's in here? Medical kit. Replenish that metagel I just had to use. And nothing really in there either. Ooh. Locked crate. There we go. All right, so we need to chat with Han Olar. They came out of there. Uh, how do I get in there? That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Okay, well, I just helped him out, so he might be willing to give me access. Uh, can I get into the maintenance? How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Oh, okay. Uh, tell me about the aliens, Han. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. What do you know? You're involved in this. What can you tell me? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're going to be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. Alright, tell me about the rat Rachni. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. Okay, do you know about Benezia? Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. Good to know. We have two biotics here. And how did you survive? I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Well, you did what you had to do. If you hadn't, you'd be dead too. Of course. That is perfectly true. Alright, well, I think we have what we need. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. 
So... We'll head back to Dr. Cohen. On oh, some maintenance door. Uh, which way was it? This way? We're getting a bit long here, but I'd like to at least get this cure turned in. To Dr. Cohen so that we can then get access to the maintenance area uh, for the hot laps. All right, here we are. Talk to Dr. Cohen. Is that the cure? You did it? Uh, I... Let's see, you set me up. Was it him that set us up? I was ambushed in the lab you sent me to. If you set me up... You were attacked? I, I... I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Getting into maintenance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh. God, what a cliche. You saved their lives, do you know that? What else can you give me? And I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get. We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some Metagel. Of course, here. You didn't get these from me. Ventralis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. There we go. Well, we actually didn't get any Metagel because apparently we were full. But, uh, I had to at least try anyway. Alright, so I think we'll go ahead and stop there. We now have access to the maintenance area, so we should be able to get into the hot labs and hopefully find Benezia. So, for now, we'll stop here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.